So when you head on with this road, it takes you to Naguru and Ibukoto town. Uh, this road you see here, it branches off to Kololo Airstrip. So we are going to be exploring the hill specifically. And that is where the rich decided to live in Kololo town. I am back for the second time. The first time I came here, as soon as I landed in Kololo, it started raining heavily and I had to, to go back without finishing the vlog. So I'm back for the second time to finish the vlog, guys. Yeah, I would not want to celebrate ED Day without giving you this masterpiece of a video. Yeah, this is Lugogo Bypass. And that is the road that takes you to Kololo Airstrip. Yeah, this is called Mall Q Lounge and Restaurant Belea. And that next there is Nanjing Restaurant, a Chinese restaurant. Wow. So we are going to get to the left. So that is the head office of Multi Choice. Multi Choice, where Go TV and DSTV are under. Kololo town, one of the top upscale residences in Kampala. So Kololo being one of Kololo being that town with over a dozen of embassies, it is one of those towns that are tightly secured. Yeah, it has more than a dozen of embassies. And those places are tightly secured, whereby you, you, you're not even allowed to capture a video. So, some of those places you will not be able to see them in the video but just know the town is a top notch it is that location of many many high commissions Yeah, we are still in Kololo. We are climbing to reach the tip of the hill. From there, we shall be able to see 360 of the town and how rich it looks. Yeah, we are still on York Terrace. It is a good name there, the road was given. One thing I've noticed around here, all the, I mean all the residences are almost guarded by police, not these usual, usual guards. 
from security agencies, no, it is police. That shows how really rich the place is. So when you go further with this road, you can reach Lugogo. And so we are going to be branching off from here and we see this side also. I mean, how do you find the place? Which vibes does it give you? I mean, which other place you know that is almost alike Kololo Hill? There is that mega building up there. Yeah, I love the fact that the buildings are covered in trees also. That is very common with rich places in Kampala and Uganda at large. They love so much to hide in trees. Including me. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. This one is neat. I just passed the Netherlands Embassy. It is on this road, the York Avenue. I don't love how this place is tightly secured because I'm being blocked to vlogging on some areas. Uh, let us go to this one and see. And approached me. He cautioned me, he cautioned me seriously not to vlog this street because Yeah, he cautioned me seriously not to vlog this street because it is mainly for embassies. On my left, this wall you see is hiding the Belgium embassy. On my right, it is the Netherlands embassy. He told me when you go further, there is Indian embassy, Chinese embassy, and at the end, there is the branch of American embassy. So guys, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that is John Babiha Avenue, the road that goes off Akashia Mall to Kololo Golf Course. I mean Lugogo Golf Course. Yeah, so this is Kawalia Kagua Close, and this is the road that takes you to the residences of the rich and the famous Sudi Ruparelia. That mega mega house you see on the top, that is the residence of Sudir. Yeah, and this is where we're going to be exploring. Ah, guys, I was not breathing. I was walking, uh, walking over Kololo Hill. 
Kololo Hill Road and I saw almost 15 embassies Indian Embassy, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Netherlands, Belgium guys <laughs> and everywhere outside was guarded by police and army so I couldn't do the video Two years back, I remember it was COVID-19. Wow. On my left, it is the Ruparelia residence. These residences are fierce, I tell you. <laughs> Every homestead you see is guarded by police, army, man. Guys, yeah, I just love how this place looks like. Yeah, this road we are on is Kawaliaka Gua Close. You know? So we are going to slope down to John Babiha Road. This is Kololo Hill Road, and that is the road that takes you to almost 15 embassies. Yeah, this is Johnny Babiha Road and just a few steps in the front there is Akashia Mall. That is Riders Launch. So this one is the German Embassy on my left and the next is the Yeah, so if you're looking for any embassy around Kampala the right place is Kololo that is where you, you will find it because me personally uh, passing by a Kololo Hill Drive, I saw almost 17 to 18 embassies. And remember, I did move through all Kololo. So I'm sure mainly most of the embassies are in Kololo. And if you are looking for one, that is your right place to, to look.
Here is catwalk lounge and bar. As you see the signpost, when you go further, when you go further with the road, it takes you to Nakasero. And if you are to branch off from the left, you go to Kololo Airstrip. Yeah. This is the road that takes you to Kololo Airstrip. So, this is where we are going to branch off from. Yeah, this road takes you to Kololo Air Strip. And on the right, I'm seeing a signpost showing the High Commission of the High Commission Islamic Republic of Pakistan. It is the location of the Kololo Air Street. It is the location of Sudir, Sudir's residences. You know Sudir, for those that don't know, is one of the richest, richest personalities in Uganda. If not the richest, being in number one, uh, it is also the location of um, the location of the SFC. It is a, a police force, a modified police force. Yeah, it is also here. The barracks is. It's amazing that it has lasted almost six hours without raining. Yes, and it let me do the job. I tell you guys, rainfall is another thing here in Kampala these days. I've been troubled almost three days without vlogging because of rainfall. But at least... So this is Wampeo Avenue of John Babiha. So we are going to slope down up to Lugogo Bypass. This is Makerere University College of Health Science School of Public Health. Yeah. No, one. Yeah, that is Wampeo Avenue. And this is the road that takes you down to Lugogo Bypass. Yeah, tell me guys in the comment section, how do you find Kololo town, Kololo hill? How does it look? In which number do you put Kololo among the rich neighborhoods in Uganda?
behind me, I passed the Egyptian and Eritrean embassy. Ah, guys. Yeah, Ivan was very right to name uh, the video that he took in Kololo, the home of embassies. Yeah. You can check out Ivan at Haire's channel. Yeah, the channel is Ivan at Haire. And he did he did a vlog about Kololo town. Maybe he captured the, those places that I failed to. And he named the video the home of embassies, Kololo. Yeah, I'm sure the guy was very right because almost every embassy is found here in Kololo. And when you move around Kololo 360, I'm sure you can pass by many. Yes, I'm sure you can pass by many, many embassies. Wow. Yeah, from here, I can see Lugogo Bypass. Here there is a laboratory, St. Michael's Food Laboratory and Consultants Limited. Is right there. This place here is hold this place here is housing many schools. There is Lohana. There is this one behind here. I didn't get the name. And it is it is like there is another school in front where they are having some ceremonies. Yeah, maybe it is a sports day. As you know, around these times, yeah, we tend to be having visitation days and sports days. So most of the schools are busy. right there there is an apartment to let here it it is for sale actually Renaissance residence lot 59 Kololo. Yeah. There are these cute apartments lining up on this street. There is KT Estates. There is Prince Charles Apartments on the right. And there is that one under construction. I mean, This is a street of apartments. Is that one under construction also? Yeah, so this is Moyo Lane. Let us get to Moyo Lane and see. Yeah. 
Moyo land. Remember, Moyo is a district in uh, northern Uganda there. So no, I don't know if they derived that name from that district, but Moyo is a district. Moyo close. That means we can't go very far. Right. So that is Moyo Lane. There are these condominium apartments, cute apartments. Tell me, tell me. This is not a dead end. Ah, the name is Chinese. Ah, it is a Chinese name. So you have to believe me, guys. Too many people. Kololo is topping the list of the richest neighborhoods around Kampala. Yes, I've been looking around on, so, uh, on media and I noticed the biggest number are choosing Kololo to be the richest neighborhood around Kampala. And as I told you, the town is the closest to Kampala Business District. Among all the upscale towns we have in, Yes, Kololo is the closest to Kampala. So, let's move around and explore the town. Explore the beauty of the town. Guys, I couldn't get a better place to hide. <laughs> this was the place I got. Look around. This is where I managed to hide myself. God. Tower. Wow, look at that. Guys, in my life, I've never been hit by rainfall like today. I searched for a place to hide, but I couldn't get one. I'm all immersed in water. Today, today is a rough day. Really. Wow. Look at that apartment. It's called the Taj Jubilee, Taj Jubilee Residences. I think it is for an Indian.